Hi, this is Julian from AWS. In this video, I want to show you a quick demo of streaming a live video from a Raspberry Pi into recognition video. And uh, we'll see if uh, we can recognize my face in there. So I've got a Raspberry Pi here with a, a, a Pi camera. And uh, I built a Kinesis client um, that is going to capture the video from the Pi and then stream it into Kinesis video streams. All instructions from this actually come from a superb blog post um, by one of my colleagues, and I will put the URL into the video description. So let's start this client. I'm going to uh, stream uh, 320 by 200 uh, when it comes to resolution, 256 uh, kilobit bitrate. Here we go. Okay, so we can see, uh, we can see um, Kinesis uh, actually receiving uh, the, the video fragments here, right, being pushed by the Kinesis client. And um, in a few seconds, when those things actually get to AWS, uh, as you can see on my screen over there, let's give it a few seconds to stabilize, um, I can see my live video in the, uh, in the uh, Kinesis video streams console, right? And it says 320 by 200, bitrate is uh, a little over to 70 kilobits and we have about 33 seconds delay which is the, the amount of time that it takes to actually send all this stuff into Kinesis and for uh, for the, the console and everything to, to process it so just a little bit of delay but again I don't have a lot of bandwidth right here and uh, maybe you hear some uh, some beeping noises here it's actually uh, emails that are uh, uh, sent through uh, SNS because uh, recognition video is actually detecting faces in this stream. So uh, let me look at the camera and see if we can actually see some of those emails saying, I'm in here, right? Okay, this should be enough. Yes, and you have to trust me. It says one known person, right? Um, and this is me because I built a face collection uh, with my my face in there so uh, recognition video actually matches my face uh, from the video into the collection so there you go really short video if you want to replicate this the only thing that you need is a raspberry pi a cam read the blog post that uh, that is referenced in the description and uh, within maybe an hour or two you can get this thing running too it's really cool you can build lots of cool things with this that's it for today thank you bye bye